hello my beautiful people you are highly welcome to my youtube channel shitu mathematics class uh, it's been a while i show my face like this so actually the class is going to be the both sides so i'll be showing my face at the same time i'll be doing faceless video so now i just decided to show my face today so that uh, you'll be able to see my face again uh, so today we are going to be looking at this particular you know topic that is pythagoras rule now very quickly what do we understand by pythagoras rule or uh, when can we you know apply pythagoras rule so now we apply pythagoras rule so when we are to solve a triangle in a triangle that is what right angle triangle as you can see from this diagram i have here so now what is actually a right angle triangle it is kind of triangle that has one of its angles to be 90 degree so now if you look at this sign here you can see that this is like square corner so now this triangle is having square corner that is right angle triangle so therefore we now label the size whenever you have right angle triangle like that so we label the size so we have the longest side that is the one that is facing the right angle is called the hypotenuse so the this is the base and this is called the height i get it now or we call it what we call it altitude altitude okay so it can be called height or altitude so now whenever we have this so when are we to use pythagoras rule it is when we are given this we are given two sides of this you no know, of this triangle and the other is not given so therefore we are going to apply a pythagoras rule to 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 get the third size and we have what we have c let's say the hypotenuse we can say this hypotenuse will be c here okay this one should be B and this should be what this should be A. Okay now, so therefore the Pythagoras rule now states that C squared equals to A squared plus what? A squared plus B squared. So this is what we are going to be using. This is Pythagoras rule. Are you getting it now? So now from there, so now whenever we are not given any kind of problem, I get me now. So it has to be hypotenuse square equals to the base square or the uh, i square plus what plus the base square. I guess now. So it has to give us this. So now let's quickly solve. Look into the examples we have here. So now you can see that this is what this is right angle triangle, and this line is what is facing the right angle triangle. Then let's see that is our C. So this is our C here, and this can be our base. I get it now. And this is what and this is B. And this is the height, which is what, which is a, a equals to nine. So we quickly use this formula. So now this c is what is fifteen. We have fifteen squared. I get now equals to what is my a? We have nine squared plus what plus k squared, which is what, which is b. Now so from there, what's the next thing we are going to do? We are going to take the you know the square of fifteen is going to be 225 equals to then we have 9 square 9 square is going to be 81 plus what plus k squared i get it now so what's the next thing we are going to do here so we try to collect the light time so 81 is coming to meet 225 here so we have 225 minus 81 equals to k squared i get it now so 225 minus 81 and that is going to give us what that is going to give us you see we have two two five here yeah? okay minus 81 so we have four so now if we borrow one here to this place we are going to be having 12 12 minus 8 that is what that is four and this one remain so i'm doing this because of the kids you know the children so that you'll be able to see the clear picture of what we are trying to do so we have 225, this one is going to be was we have k squared go to 144. Now we take the square root of both sides. This we cancel this 
and we have the square root of 144 to be what? 12. Do you understand now? Therefore, we have what? We have this side here. Okay, we have this side here to be what? To be 12. So this is 12, this is 9, and this is 15. So therefore, when you have 12 squared, that is 144 plus 9 squared, that is what? That is 81. It's going to give us what we have here, eh? the square of what we have. That is 225. So now let's quickly go to the B. So now we have this. You can see that do not you know be bothered about the representation of the diagram. So it can be anywhere. But what you should always look at is what is this sign here. Do you understand that is the square corner? So now from there, so now so far we have the side that is facing this uh, right angle. You know, so that is going to be s squared. That is the square of this hypotenuse plus 5 squared the sum of the square of the two other sides okay so we are going to have s squared to be equals to 5 square is equal to what 25 plus 12 square is equal to what is equal to 144 so the same thing let's try to add this together so from here if you want to add this together we are going to have what so 5 plus 4 that is going to be 9 I get me now then 2 plus 4 that's going to be 6 and we have 1 here definitely we take the square roots of both sides because we are looking for x we take the square root of this one and we are going to be having 13 so therefore our x is equals to 13 here do you understand now therefore this place is equals to 13 do you understand now so therefore quickly let's go to the third one so now the third one are you getting now so here we are looking for the height i get me now no necessarily no we are looking for the value of x sorry for that so we have two x here we have x here we have this one all the sizes are given actually but we have what we have an unknown here that we need to get what actually the value is so now what are we going to do so therefore we are going to look at the relationship between this i get it now and so far this is right angle triangle definitely we can apply a uh, pythagoras rule so now to get the value of x so we are going to be having 10 square so which is the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the square of the other side plus what 2x squared this is going to be 2x all squared are you following so this is going to be 100 equals to x squared plus 2 squared is 4 I have x squared to be what to be x that is x to power 2 is going to be give us what for x squared so we are going to be having 5 x squared equals to 100 so now from here what are we looking for we are looking for the value of x that what we need to divide both sides by 5 okay divide both sides by 5 so now this 5 we cancel this one so and 5 here 1 5 in 100 so that is going to be 20 so from there we have x squared okay to be equals to 20 therefore we are not looking for the x squared what we are looking for is x so now we try to take the square root of both sides so taking the square root of both sides here yeah, we are going to be having x to be equals to because this squared we come to the square root do you understand that we will be x equals to square root of 20 are you getting it now and that is the solution for the value of what the value of x actually we're supposed to be having plus or minus here yeah? but when we are talking about distance i get it now so we cannot have a distance that is less than zero so therefore we know we stick with the positive you know value of you know of x that's why i pick what we pick roots 20 i get now to be the value of x here so now that is going to be what we are going to be you know teaching ourselves today if you have any question concerning this do not hesitate to hit the comment box and ask your question also do not hesitate to hit on the subscribe button and the bells right beside the subscribe button so that you'll be notified anytime I upload 
a new content. Thank you so much for watching. I remain your humble self. She too.